All right, welcome back. Ashley here with CrossRealms to give you a more in-depth look into Microsoft Word 2016. We'll keep going through some of Word's features today and we'll start off with inserting text from another file. So this is really useful if you're writing a document and you have another separate document that you were working on and you want to merge those two together. Instead of opening them both up, you, you know, selecting all, hitting copy, hitting paste, coming over to the other document, pasting it all in there, this is just a pretty much simple one-step sort of thing. So we're going to go to the Insert tab, and we're going to click over here on the Object button. It's, the, it's all the way at the bottom of the Text section. And click on Text from File. Well, first make sure your cursor is where you want it to be. So we'll just go down here at the bottom of the paper. And say we want to do, we'll just do this other old outline. And you click on OK, and there it is. It pops up here at the bottom of the page. So this is a really useful tool. Makes uh, Cuts a couple steps out of just copying and pasting. So again, you come up here, click on this, hit Insert, and there you go. Now we have two of the same thing in there. OK. so. Uh, moving on, now we'll go on to replacing text within a file. So say you are writing a story and you don't really want to, um, you find yourself using the same word over and over again. And you don't really want to do that because that makes you know your story not sound that great. So we'll go to the home page and we'll go back over to the editing section where we did the finding and the selecting all. And instead of those two buttons, we're going to hit replace. Um, so we're going to type in what we want to replace. Um, so for this one, we want to replace the word cross realms with company. Okay. And then so it's going to go in and it's going to find all the times cross realms shows up in the paper and replace it with the word company. So we'll hit replace all. And they've made six replacements. And we exit out, we can find where they replaced it. Okay, so they replaced it here, where it says company. Where it used to say cross realms, now it says company. Um, technical implementation of company. You know, it just changes some of the other words. If we want to do, say we want to get rid of the word gap analysis, or gap, we want to say... So we want to get rid of gap, we want to put in blank. Replace all, we've made 10 replacements. Close out of there. Come up to the top, we see blank analysis, blank analysis, if we find them all. See, and here we go. Shows us all of the ones that it replaced here. So that's how you can go in and find a word. So you're using the word very a lot, and you want you don't want to use the word very, or you can click on this and change it, or you know remove, or however you like. Um, so the next one we're gonna do say so this document isn't very. Um, as you can see, there's some different colors, but there's not really any popping words. Um, so say we want to make this word sort of sh stand out a little more. We're going to try and use word art. So word art is in the home tab, and it's in the font section here. And it's this little A that um, looks like it's outlined in a glow, sort of. If you click on the downward arrow, arrow these are the presets for the word art. So if you want like a beveled um, gold color. You can do that. We'll make it a little bigger so you can see it. See how it's got like a little bevel going on and a little shadows there and there. But if you don't want to use any of these presets, like say you don't like the color, you can always do, um, say you want to add a shadow to it. Oh, make sure it's highlighted. That would help. Uh, say we want to add a shadow to it. We want it to show like it's floating off the ground. You see all this shadow down here. Um, say we want to add a reflection. 
So now the reflection and the shadow kind of mix together, but you can see it. We'll change the shadow to something else. There we go. And even the reflection shows the shadow, so that's really neat. Um, another thing, if we wanted to add a glow, wanted to add an orange glow to it, it's going to change all of it. Okay. But um, so make sure that if you want to keep your presets, so you know how we went in and we changed all of these. Um, we went in and we changed these. So now we need to make sure that we're not accidentally getting rid of them by clicking a preset. So if you, get, if you click a preset, it's going to override everything that we've done. You can add things to the preset, like an outline, and it will stay. So now we have a black outline there. Um, but if you click on the presets again, it's going to override what you just did. So make sure that you're paying attention to that. And lastly, we're going to show you how to change your text into different columns. Um, so say you have like a long bulleted list on like a resume of, you know, how when you're writing a resume, you write down all of your job tasks. Well, it's taking up a lot of the page. And people don't like when there's a lot of information on one page. And sometimes they like to read it as a different layout. So for that, we're going to go to the Layout tab. And we're going to click here on this Column section. So we're going to highlight this. And we're going to click on Columns. And we can make it one. The one column is how it default is. Two columns, and it splits it up here into two separate columns, making it a little easier to follow. Um, so it, it looks best with bulleted lists or really, really long paragraphs. Um, a lot of times I just refer to it as like a newspaper style. But that is how you do columns. All right, well, that's all I have for you in this video. So thanks for watching. Um, we'll have more next time. So. Tune in. Bye.